On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, using the guidelines in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use some of the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your questions, so just do that below the video. You can always go over to my blog as well, and that's TrinityDigitalMedia.com, and uh, look around there. I think you'll find some stuff that you really enjoy. So... One of the great things that they've added with ProPresenter is alignment guidelines. So I'm going to show those to you here in just a minute, and I want you to be thinking, okay, how can I use these to improve my abilities in ProPresenter so that I don't have to hop into Photoshop or the GIMP or Canva or what have you to make graphics that I can make natively in ProPresenter 6. So Let's head on over and take a look. One of the great things in Photoshop is that you can add guidelines so that you can align things more easily. So ProPresenter 6 has added that as a feature. So let's, um, let's right click here and click Edit Slide. So here we are in a slide, and the first thing you should notice is we've got this guy. And as I get towards the center, I've got that line. And as I get towards the center there, so that enables me to center a block of text or what have you. You know, so if I was, if my block of text is actually like this don't have to guess I can just jiggle it around and find the center in both directions but what if you don't want the center what if you have just a couple of different things and you want let's say you want one of them over here and let's add another block of text and this block of text I want over here but I want it to align with the edge of this text box so that they don't actually overlap but you know how, how can I do that because every time I click one it takes over so this is a cool new feature in ProPresenter 6 and you click over here and you drag and when you do that, you can get a non-printable guideline. So now I can, based on this line right here, I can say, oh, I need to actually come over just a hair. And this one also needs to come over just a hair. And that's how that's set. Now, these can be replaced at any time just by clicking on this guy and moving it to wherever you want it to be. So that is cool. I think it's actually something that they've added since the beta release of ProPresenter 6 because it was a little harder to work with if memory serves. So Again, let me show you how to add. This time we'll add the horizontal one. So we click on this bar here and drag down. And let's say I wanted to put it right smack dab there. Okay. Then it adds it here. And I can do that as many times as I want. So let's say that I want that many. But, and I can 
reposition. I've already shown you that. Well, what happens if once you've got them there, you decide you don't want them anymore? Well, you just drag this and drag it off. So you drag it kind of off of that area and it just disappears. So that's a cool little feature that makes designing your slides a little easier. You can align things better. You can, you know, if you wanted to go with uh, the rule of thirds, you could basically put a couple of guidelines on the thirds. And of course, these don't have to be perfectly exact. And they would show up much better if... Uh, if the background wasn't this color. In fact, let me remove this media here. Um, remove this. So, yeah. So there we go. So you can now see these guidelines a little bit better, and I can now tell even more easily that that was not exactly a third and I'm guesstimating this just a bit but let's say you wanted to design something based on the rule of thirds then you can use these guidelines to do that if you wanted to change things it's straightforward and nice and easy to do and it's one of the great new features in ProPresenter 6. Well I hope that helped you I hope that now you start uh, maybe the mental gears turning saying oh wow if I have those then this thing that I was trying to do that used to be hard is not hard anymore. If you like this content uh, I think that you'll like my email newsletter so by all means head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts g-i-f-t-s where I have a church tech gift of your choosing and a free subscription to my email newsletter. You'll also like the stuff that I've made for you in my store, which you can buy a la carte, or now I have a new community that I'm just starting up called Church Tech U. That's spelled all the way that it sounds. C-H-U-R-C-H-T-E-C-H-U, short for university, dot com. ChurchTechU.com. So head over there and you can get a free trial to Church Tech U where you can download all my resources that I'm allowed to let you download uh, because one is still under a contract. But other than that, all my Church Tech resources for one low monthly price that right now is so low that I think if I told some of my mentors how low it is, they would tell me to raise it. So before I mention this to them, and they encourage me to raise the price, why don't you head over there right now and uh, hop on board. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.